Sarah here from the YMCA. I am so happy to see you on this Friday for our Forever Well workout. So we will go through our cardiovascular, do some strength training today, and of course that uh, flexibility and uh, stretching toward the end, including some yoga poses. All you need today really is a set of tennis shoes laced up nice and tight. But if you do happen to have a band, I am going to show a couple things uh, with a resistance tube or dumbbells will also work. Or just gravity. We all know that working with just gravity in our bodies can certainly get us, uh, get us a great workout as well. So either way, we'll be moving together. I do have a chair. I will show sometimes with the chair and you can stay in the chair the entire class. So I hope everybody feels ready to go and feeling good. And don't forget your water. It's always great to have that water uh, to stay hydrated. So I'm gonna hope I have some friends ready to roll with me. It looks like I have a couple watching, so I am glad you're here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the music and we will get rolling. All right, let's start folks with our feet about hip width apart, taking it into a little squat, just an easy squat bringing the arms forward and back. That's it, so I'm sitting my hips on back, back and up. Super, warming up through the hips. Now folks, let's do one of these, then a side bend. One of these, bend to the right. One squat, bend to the left. One squat, bend to the right. One squat, bend to the left. Good, keep breathing, squat and bend, and squat, and bend. Two more, everyone. Squat, and side. Feel that stretch. Awesome. Now march it out, please. Right, left. Again, lift that posture. I hope you're feeling good with me this morning. Three marches, one tap. One, two, three, tap. There you go. Light on the feet. Lift it tall in the posture and the spirits. Now with this march, one, two, three, I'm turning a little bit, adding a little pep down. Let's get those upper bodies going. Upper body opening. There you go. One, two, three, tap. Nice. Keep breathing, friends. You're looking great. Remember to modify. You could be sitting in the chair right here. Oh yeah, keep breathing or holding the chair. Four and three, warming up here. All toe taps front, touch and touch. Can you just swing those arms now? Touching the toe in front. You got it. Again, lift that heart. Feeling good today on this Friday. Now toe back, cross it back and back and back. Good, arms could pull back, opening up the front body. There it is. Good job, everyone. Four, three, two, toe in front. Four, three, two, toe in back. Four, three, two, toe in front. Four, and back. Excellent. Now we're going to keep this healthy movement, working on our range of motion here. Maybe start to bend the knees a little lower, feeling those legs warming up. And again, those arms now. Reach up. Reach up. Get those shoulders going. Getting ready to go. Oh, I hope you're feeling good today. It's a nice day outside. Keep moving here. Let's push across the body. Good. You've got it, friends. Now from here, a little step touch, come this way. Now we're gonna add that range of motion through the hips like we are stepping up and over something high. Okay, so imagine you're stepping maybe up and over a bench or a tall rock. Good, come up and over, up and over. Notice how your core kicks in when we lift up. We need a little extra balance when we do this exercise. We will have some balancing intentional later on, but really as we move through our day, we're working on all those stabilizer muscles, keeping our body functional and strong. 
Good work. Two more friends. You're doing great. Oh, very good. Now back to that toe tap. Let's reach up again. Good. Across the butt. Next up, we're going to plant those feet and take it to a lunge. Easy does it, side to side. Good, again, you can certainly hold the chair or take a seat. Looking strong. Let's hold it on one side now, turn the right toes up and just shift back. Just a light little stretch in the inner thigh and hamstring. Now shift to the other side, same thing. Easy does it and shift. Super. So we'll do some more holding stretches toward the end. Right now we're just a little more dynamic, getting things going. Back to the toes. Back to the tall rock. Let's go. You're doing great. Get those hips ready for more. Woo. Two more, everyone. And last one each side. Marching it out on the right. Roll the shoulders. I hope you feel ready to roll. Now, if you'd like to grab a sip of water before we get into the heart of our cardio, this would be a good time for it. But keep your feet moving. We want to continue to build on that cardio endurance that we've started here. All right. How are we doing? I'm just going to make sure I see a couple comments, make sure I have some friends with me. Awesome. Good to see you all. Very good. Keep on moving, everyone. All right. What I'd like to start with here is a step touch. If you have room in your space, we're going to try traveling the step touch up with a pony arm. So here's the pony arm. Give it a try. Awesome. Then if you have room, we're going to take this pony up for four and back for four. Here we go. Step up, take it back. Nice big movements, flowing arms. Here we go, up. Take it back, super job. Come up again, four. Now listen up, on the way back, heel digs please, heel digs, push out. Pony up. Heel digs back. Now if anyone wants to add a little bounce, you could certainly pony up with a little bounce, but always low impact as an option. Push out. Good. Most of us will stay low, but I just want to offer it in case anybody's feeling jumpy today. <laughs> Good job. One more time, friends. Up. Really lift that heart. Heels back. Good. Now back to the step touch. Step touch. Can we do two step touches? Yes. Wash the window. Wash. And wash. Great. Keep breathing, folks. You're looking strong. Reach. And reach. And reach. Ready? Back to the pony. Bring it up. Heels back. Push. Nice. Oops, that wasn't a heel pony. Sorry, I was kicking. <laughs> That's coming next. You got a little preview. <laughs> Double step, touch, go, step. Yes. Step, touch. Now let's do kick it up. Step, kick. Heel back, push. Nice. Kick up, kick. Heel back, push. Double step, touch, go, window. And window, and window. Pony one more time, good, pony up. Heels back. Pony up. Heels back, push. Double step, window. You got it now. Kick up. Heels back, push. Do it again, kick up. You got it. Heels back, proud of that posture. Double step, touch, window. It's 
skin clean now. Pony up. Heel back, push. Pony up. Keep that energy going. Heels back, push. Double step, touch, go. Nice. Hold the kick in place here. Kick, kick, kick. How did that go? I hope you're feeling good. Heart rate's probably coming up a bit. Let's take it down to a march, everyone. Ready? March. That's it. Okay, posture tall again. Heart lifted. With this march, I'm going to slice my arm side. It goes like this. Maybe a little hip. Up and down, still slicing. Maybe a little hip if you're feeling it today. Great work. To the side. Bring it up. Good. Side. Remember, you can always do just legs. If you don't care for the arms, I'm adding more. Do different ones. It's okay. Double step, touch. Two. Nice. Now this time, we're going to add to the side touch a V step. So we go two to the side. Now left foot V. Two to the side. Right foot V. Open, open, close. Two step touch. Open and close. Two step touch. Let's hold this V. Let's hold this V. Let's all come together. Open, open, close, close. I want to make sure everybody's together here. Awesome. Back to the step touch. Let's go. V step. Step touch. V step. Arms. A little bit of that coordination. Now we're bringing our minds into it, right? We have to think about it a little bit. That's good for us. It makes us better thinkers. It connects our bodies and our minds. Nice. Super. Hold the march. Remember those arms? Slice it. There you go. Woo. We're moving now. Arms up and down. Go. The hip is optional. Kind of fun if you've got it. Back to the side. Slice it out. Back up, go. Double step, touch. V left. Double step, touch. Can you add the arms now? Open, open, close. Step, touch. Open, close. Step. Open, close. Step. Open, close. Super. Hold it here. Hold the feet. You got it. Keep opening. Four. Three. Two. Now listen up. Right foot toes. Front, side, back together. Left. Right. Front, side, back together. Front, side, back. Front, side, back. You can hold the chair. Sit. Add the arms if it feels good. Do a couple more. I'm just challenging that mind body here with that little bit of coordination. All right, die. Last one and march it out. Woo! How did that go, everyone? I hope you're feeling great. Let's grab some water. Keep moving strong. All right, so if you have a band, grab it. We're going to keep the cardio going. I'm going to begin to add a little bit of upper body work if you wish. It is not required, of course. If you don't have a band or don't care for it, just stay with the cardio with me. Right leg is going into a rock step. Forward, back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Good. So we're leaving here. Option with the band. Up and down. Up and down. It's giving us a little bit of that upper body resistance. Your choice. Up and down. Ooh. Good. All the systems going now. Muscles. Cardio. We've got that coordination. Some balance. Now listen up. Just the legs. Out and in. Rock it out. And in. Rock it here. 
Now the band, out and in. So I'm just pressing with my right arm right now. And if you don't have the band, do it in the air. Gravity will do some work for us too. Four more, come on, four. And three. And two, get ready, we're going back to the front with the left lead, left, yes. Up and down, when you're ready. That tall posture. Maybe add a smile. You're doing great. Woo. Here's four. Three. Two. Out and in. Go out and in. Now it's the left arm. With the band, if you choke it up a little bit, you'll get more resistance, right? You decide what you need, what you would like today. Good. Feel that tricep. Woo. Four more. And three. And two. And good. Now keep the feet moving again with or without the band. Give me about another minute of cardio. We're about 15, 16 minutes into cardio. We're going to keep that up here. Keep breathing. Take it out wide now. Tapping it out. I'm adding a jab, so with or without the resistance, I have the band behind my back as a choice. Make sure it's not hurting, of course, back there. We want to work hard in the muscles, power and push. I'm adding a little rotation, always healthy, to get that waistline going. Yes. Keep breathing, friends. Looking strong. I always like knowing who's with me. If you can give me a little comment or a thumbs up, just so I know you're here. Great work. Woo. Last four. Each side three. Each side two. And good. Now we're going to keep the heart rates going, friends. Couple more minutes. With or without the tubing, it's back to the step touch. If you have a band, you're going to step it under your feet, okay? Be careful doing that. You might sit to do that. Now a step touch. Good. So it's like a little waddle step here. Not big movements, but if you don't have the band, go with bigger movements. That's great too. We can continue to strengthen and keep the heart rate up. Woo! My band friends are going to start to feel those glutes. Is it happening? <laughs> the glutes are working. Maybe soften the knees, even if you do not have the band, and you'll feel those hips and back sides a little more. Okay, everyone, so let's all stay in place. Touch back. Good, so let me show you. If you didn't have the band, you're touching back here, okay? So still be strong. Still be strong. Maybe even lift your arms. If you don't have the band, your arms are free and you can reach up. Awesome. Nice. Now with or without the band, it's called tick-tock. Keep kick the leg over to the side, or like a pendulum. Okay, so you're here without. You're here with. Oh yeah. Woo! Do we feel that working? Keep that connection with the core, with the mind. Yes. Last four. Three, two, and let's all release the band for a moment. Oh my goodness. If you have that band that whole time, your hips need this, right? Remember that little lift with the knee like you're stepping out or something? Take a moment here. Oh boy. Woohoo! Great job, everyone. Now, we are going to march it out for a moment. This is going to be a great time for water again. So grab a sip if you'd like. We're going into balance work next. I'm bringing the chair over because I'm going to hold it. Some of you will, some of you won't, some of you will use it sometimes. Set the band out of the way for a moment. Okay, so standing up nice and tall. Soften the inside knee. Knee up. So this will still keep our heart above the um, head above the heart. 
So lifting tall. So some of you won't hold. This is great too. Nice. Now adding. Lift, open, close, and down. Lift, open, close, and down. Good. Keep that posture. Keep the breath. Awesome. Let's do one more like that, friends. Keep your inside knee soft. Nice. Now taking it back. I'm going to turn to the side and just do a little kick back. Flexing the foot and squeezing the lower back, the glutes, and the hamstrings. Now don't kick so high that you feel pain in your back, okay? Make it controlled. Strengthening the back part of our body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. Oh, let's shake those hips out. Well done. Switching over then to the other side of the chair if you're holding. Start down the middle. Maybe you'll start with practicing that balance without holding. You decide. Ooh, how's the breath? You're probably still feeling your heart rate up a bit. That is expected. We still are working strong. We're thinking, bringing our minds into the movement. Nice, remember that open now. Up, open, close, and down. Keep it smooth, keep the breath. Awesome. Woo! Hold on to this, everyone. Couple more. Can you soften that standing knee? This is where our power is coming from. Feel grounded, feel strong. Two more like this. Beautiful. Now let's turn to the side. Same rhythm here. A slight tip forward. Lock in your core and kick it back. Little lean. Lock and squeeze. You should feel the glutes. The lower back is stabilizing. If you feel pain in your lower back, don't lift so high. It's okay. Soften that knee. You can also step down in between, of course. Stay with me. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and great. Let's release those hips. Fantastic. So strength and balance really wrapped into one. Now the next round I'm going to give you is more strength focused with the band or free weights or gravity. I'm going to start standing, but then I'll show the same rhythm seated. If you would like a sip of water, grab it now. So if you have dumbbells, your bicep curls. You have a band, your bicep curls. Looks like this. Up and down. Up and down. With the band, dumbbells, or gravity. Standing or seated. All of these things work. Squeeze. And squeeze. Keep the breath with you, friends. Squeeze. Maybe even close your eyes and bring your mind to the muscle. Biceps, every time we lift. Here's four, and three, and two, and great. Now, flip your knuckles forward. It's an upright row. Think of bringing your thumb towards your armpit. The same exercise with the dumbbells or standing. I'll show that again, so I could be here. Awesome. Woo. Keep the breath. Keep the control. On these last eight, if you'd like to lift both at the same time, do it. Eight, seven, power six. Try to relax the neck. Five, four, three, two, and job well done. Woo, let's release that band if you have it. Very good. Now again, dumbbells or band. I'll start with showing this next one standing. Here it is with the band. I'm stepping one foot back, one foot forward. This, again, could be a dumbbell pulling back into a row. Let's work our upper back, everyone. Really good for the posture. Squeeze. Lengthen the neck. Look down and get strong. Four more like this. 
this everyone, four, think about it, squeeze it. Now on two, listen up, we'll hold that elbow up, little tricep kickbacks, eight, seven, six, five, power, four, three, two, and did it, woo, release there. How did that go? Let's go to the other side, same rhythm, step on the band or grab your dumbbells. Lengthen the spine and row. Again, look down once you have it. Lengthen the spine. Squeeze. And squeeze. You got this. A little tip forward so we're really right around the shoulder blade. Looking strong out there. Ready for triceps? Let's do it. Finish it up. Here's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and job well done. Ooh, let's all free the band or the dumbbells. Take a sip of water if you would like and shake it out. Okay, we are doing so great here. Whoops, I just kicked my water, that's okay. Let's keep the breath. Now we are going to move in to more of uh, stretching and yoga, but there's still strength. There's definitely still strength. I'm going to start standing here, okay? About hip width apart with the legs. You could definitely be seated on this whole section. Start with rolling the shoulders down and back. Again, lifting up the heart. And just take a moment to come back right into this moment. So our minds are wild things and they do wander. Let's rope our minds back into this very moment. Taking care of our bodies, our minds, and our spirits. Let's take a big inhale, reaching up the center. At the top, clasp the hands and tip to the right side, stretching through our side seat. Come to center, create a little more length, and tip to the other side. Looking up. Coming back to center. Open your arms out now in a cactus. So elbows are at 90 degrees, they're like gold posts. Now lift the heart and do a mini back bend looking back. Tipping back up, inhale, reach on the exhale, sitting back like you're sitting in a chair. So your feet might creep a little closer together. You might be actually sitting in the chair and that is great as well. Keep the heart lifted and feel the strength. Now from here, inhale as our arms are up. Exhale, sweep the hands behind you. Inhale, rise up with the heart. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale, rise, exhale, stretch back. Now this time, listen up. As our arm goes back, rotate, look to the right. Come up, rotate to the left. Up, and rotate, up, and good. Now let's just hold this chair and breathe. Feel the strength in those legs. Maybe you're hovering over your chair. Four, three, two, and push back up, excellent. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. Taking a giant step now out to the right. Turn your toes a little bit out and arms out to a star. Stretch up first right down the middle, just feeling strong, opening up. Now on the exhale, bend the elbows and the knees. Just a little stretch here, good. Or maybe it feels like a big stretch. It kind of does to me today. Inhale, star. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit. One more time, rise up. And come down, good. Now this time, coming up, let's pivot our right toes out and our left toes in. So they're both pointing in the direction to the right. Bending the right knee. Let's hold it here for a moment, feeling strong in the lower body. Make sure this front knee 
feels safe, okay? So you don't have to bend it beyond pain-free. Keep it here. Now can we add our arms? Reach the arms out and then flip the palms down. Try looking over your right hand and feeling power and strength as we expand through our front body. Almost like there's arrows coming out of our collarbones. Breathe and hold. Remember, you can always be holding a chair here. Okay, so this would be great too. Good, now let's try a different position with the arms. We're going a little lower if it's available to the knee here. And then bring your left arm past the ear into extended right angle. Again, if this doesn't feel so good, you can always hold the chair and go here or go to a seated position. Hold and breathe. Feeling the strength, the power, the connection. Use your next breath now to reverse. So now I'm tipping back. My front knee is still bending the same, but now I'm stretching through the right ribs, looking back. Let's spin back to that uh, warrior two or reaching arms. And then bring the hands back to the hips. Spiral that foot back in and back to that five point star. This time bring the arms out and the toes forward. Let's try a gentle back bend. So we're just going to take it maybe just to parallel with the floor. Some of us will feel good here. Some of us will choose to hold the chair as support. This is great as well. Feel the hamstring stretching. If your flexibility allows, of course, go down closer to the floor. Try to lengthen out the spine, look down and breathe. Feel the back of the legs. Softening the knees, engaging the core. Let's come back up. Good. Bringing the feet back together where we started. Let's go back now to that inhale, reaching up the center. And exhale to the side. Keeping the breath available. Inhale, center, create a little more length. Exhale to the other side. Inhale back to center. Again, mini back bend. Can you lift up to the heart? Little cactus arms as we expand through the front body. Back to center and exhale, hands down toward the heart. Step the feet maybe a little closer together as we sit back in our chair, reaching the arms up with the inhale. Exhale, sweep the hands back by the hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sweep down. Maybe you'll make this a real flowing breath to really feel that connection. Feel that full body experience. We feel strength. Our minds are in our movement. And maybe our spirits are connecting to this experience. Good. Now the next time we're up, let's add that rotation. Sweeping the right arm back and forward and left arm back and forward. Notice I'm bringing my gaze with my arm. So bring your gaze right along with you. Rotate and lift one more each side. Exhale. Inhale. So good, let's rise back up. This time it's a giant step to the left side. Again, toes out a bit for that five point star. Inhale, expand. Exhale, bend the knees and hold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. Two more cycles, friends. Reach, create space, open. And down. Last time, lift and sit. Super, let's extend the legs back to straight. This time it's the left toes that turn to the left side 
and then the right toes follow. They're at about a 45 degree angle with that heel driving down. Now the left knee bends, so I feel that nice strong base of support. You decide how far you bend. If your knee feels good, go lower to benefit the stretching in your hips, but not at the expense of knee pain. So find that place. Remember, you could definitely hold the chair here or be seated. Expand the arms out wide now. Remember those arrows coming out of the collarbone. Feeling broad, strong, looking forward and breathing. Great, now remember that extended right angle. I'm bringing this front elbow in, maybe down to my knee or maybe I'm holding it here. Right arm past the ear. Try looking up and inside of that arm as we stretch the side body. We are strengthening our legs, our whole body working together in one unit. Keeping the breath full, can we reverse this now? Bringing the hand down the back leg and stretching through the other side body. Feel that big release. Again, adding a deep breath will add that, in, uh, that strength and just that depth to this experience. that warrior two stretching arms. Next, let's pivot both toes ahead again, back to five point star. This time we turn our toes in, bring the hands to the hips and we add that forward bend. Now I'm going to use the chair again. Some of you will hinge right here and stay parallel to the floor. Others, if your back and flexibility allows, will continue down to the floor, but that's not for everyone. So don't feel like that's an end goal you need to achieve. You can get a lovely hamstring stretch right here as well. Just stay parallel with the floor. Otherwise, do definitely go down if that is feeling good to you today. Now lengthen and stretch. Breathe and hold. Once you feel the stretch, then soften the knees and let's all just roll up. Easy does it through our spine. I hope you're all with me and feeling great. I'm going to take it to the chair next to continue with our stretching. We are doing a whole body workout here. I hope that it's feeling good to you. Take water again anytime you need it. I actually just have a couple more minutes, don't I? Time goes fast when you're having fun. I do want to give you a hip stretch before I take it to a little body scan. Let's go here. Now, those warriors were stretching your hips. They absolutely were. But I do want to give you just a little extra hip stretch here with the hips straight ahead. Now, our music's getting a little jolly. I'm going to have you hold the hands at your heart. And I'm going to change this song just real quick. So hold it here. I actually want you to hold this for about 30 seconds. And that will be perfect while I change this song. Not that we don't want jolly music, but for our stretch, this might be a little more appropriate. <laughs> Good job. So hopefully you felt that hip opening. Beautiful. Now let's pivot through center and do that same thing on the other side. So the chair as a prop allows us to really open up that back hip, spinning the hips forward, hands at the heart, and maybe even just close your eyes and feel that nice stretch to the back of the leg, the back hip opening, the heart lifting.
Good. Now as we release that, let's go ahead and turn to the front, back to our chair. Good. Now let's see if you can sit a little forward off your chair so we are in an active posture. Taking it from head to toe, let's just do a little body scan and loosen up anything that has remained tense in our class today. Starting with the neck, let's take the head and just look over to the right and then turn to look to the left. So just rotating the neck side to side. Same idea, but now tip it side to side, so a lateral bend. Taking care of our neck, it carries around our head all day. It's easy to feel tension in this area. Keeping the breath, maybe soften your face and jaw. Now if we can do a half circle just in front of this neck here, in front of the spine, if it feels good. Probably don't roll behind, it's just a little bit safer to come front, but it is good to circumduct through that neck, which is part of our spine, that cervical spine. Fabulous. Now let's lift the chin off the chest, keeping relaxed now in the neck and the face. Begin to shrug the shoulders back and away. Reverse, bring the shoulders forward. Let's open and close our arms, letting the shoulders move in all the different planes of motion. It's amazing all the different things that our joints and muscles can do for us. moment for our wrists, rolling out the wrists, letting go. Our fingers one at a time, all the gripping that we do, keeping everything nimble. Now hands on the knees. Let's take an arch through our back and then a round through our back. Letting go through that spine. That breath could be an inhale to expand and exhale to round. Now sitting up tall, let's take it to that hip, bringing one knee up in just a little circle in that hip. And other direction. We gave the hips quite a bit of work, but also stretch, so they should be feeling good for our day. It's an important area to take care of, really our whole body is. Just uh, love how we're all designed so carefully, wonderfully. Let's hold it in the middle then and extend and flex that leg. Feel that stretch through the back of the leg and calf. And hold that leg out, just point and flex. Maybe rotate that ankle, taking care of that base that brings us around in our day, our feet, so important. If you have your shoes off or later today and you wanna do a toe stretch, I've done that in a couple of our classes just to really take care of our whole body. Good, take that same knee in, across, just all of these wonderful stretches. Keep the breath, feel the release. let that one go. Let's try the other side. If you have time to go through this series daily, everyone, this is just so good. Check in with that body, head to toe. Maybe do it mentally, just a body scan where your mind goes through and just notices, just notice how everything's feeling. 
giving the areas that need a little more love and attention a little more time, a little more stretch. Now take this ankle across the knee, again release. <sighs> Breath is full, let it go. job well done. We've taken care of our bodies. Hopefully you've had a little time for your spirit as well. Your mind has come into the game. I'm certain of that. Let's take a deep breath now in and up and then exhale to shake it down. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great weekend. Keep moving. Keep well. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye everyone.